Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be testing out some e.l.f. makeup. It is my first impressions. I have not used e.l.f. makeup, so I am excited to try. However, when I went to Target, they did not have a lot of options for e.l.f. makeup, but we're gonna do our best. I did buy three foundations though because I didn't, I don't know what shade I am and this is part of why I hate shopping the drugstore brands but here's my receipt here is what i spent yay let's see if it's worth it all right let's jump on in so first things first i'm going to test out this product that i got in my fab fit fun box this is the Faded Tropicals Brightening and Clearing Eye Masks. How was everyone's holiday season? Mine was good. I broke a nail <laughs> falling down the stairs, which there's a funny video over on my TikTok. Be sure to go look at that because it is pretty darn tootin' funny. So I have a different setup today with my camera. I've noticed in my last few videos it's a little hard to see my makeup application just because of the angle of things, which I'm still working on this setup, so I appreciate your patience. But I'm working to bring you guys a better setup, so. All right, now that we are all zoomed in, let's look at the products that I got. And while you are here, I hope that you guys subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, as well as like this video. Let me know if this is something you wanna see me try out new products. Elf did not have at my Target good selection of brow pencils, so I did get the NYX, the Micro Brow Pencil Spoolie. And this is in the shade Cool Ash Brown. So I am just outlining the, where the top of my brow that I want it to go and then combing it up, going underneath. And then with hair like strokes, just blend it in. Use the spoolie to comb through, kind of fade out those harsh edges if there are any. All right, same thing on the other side. Now I do like this color and I do like how easy it glides on. Wow. I'm impressed. I like this eyebrow pencil. This actually, this actually might be my favorite. Dare I say it? Now I did get two e.l.f. eyeshadows to test out. This is the first one, which is a nude rose gold. And then I did get a nude mood. So because I'm going to test this out for the wear, the wear test, look at this, this little peel tab. So I am going to test this out for longevity, this makeup look. So these are the shades, I do think they're really pretty. So of course with our Morphe flat brush, we're going to go in with my tried and true, the P. Louise base in Rumor Shade 0.5. And I just push it into the skin, drag just a little bit, but mostly pushing, getting as close to my lash line. And as you can see, it's not a whole lot of pulling. It's very easy to move around, especially when it warms up on your skin. And I just like to outline my brow area, give her more defined of a look. And then with a very fluffy brush, we will go in with that very first shade, which is this one right here, and just set, 
set that primer. Have you guys ever used e.l.f. makeup, any e.l.f. products? This is my first time. All right, same thing with this side. All right, now going in with the P. Louise. This is the E38 brush. I'm gonna dip into this deeper color here and we're just gonna go in to my crease and then we can, we're can we gonna blend it out with another brush to just have it go a little above the crease. So first impressions, there's a lot of color payoff, which is nice. They do seem to blend really well out, at least by itself, with a super extra fluffy brush, which is from Jeffree Star Morphe Collab JS, JS5. I'm gonna go in with more of this this color here and we're just gonna blend this out a little bit higher not too much not too terribly much just want it to go above my crease since with my hooded eyes it's very hard and I lose a lot of my makeup looks due to my hooded eyes I lose them in this crease so as you can see it's just something soft it helps soften this harsh line that we have here, but while still maintaining the color. Now these are really easy to move right where I want them and letting the brush do a lot of the work for me, which is really nice. Going in with that fluffy brush we used to put down our base, we're gonna go in with this more pinky neutral right here. And we're going to lay it down on our lid. Now what do you guys think so far? Are there any makeup brands that you think are underrated that you think I should try to look with? Let me know in the comments. And you know if you guys ever have suggestions and the easiest way to get me those suggestions, not only on the comments down here, but I'm always asking questions on my Instagram. So please be sure to follow me on Instagram and follow my polls there, answer, respond. And you never know when I might do a giveaway over there. I really wanna make sure I'm getting it in this corner because we want this to be more of a softer look. So I'm just gonna drag it down just a little bit on the lower lash line with that same color. So now going in with more of a dense but brush like this, I can't even think of the word. This is the E35 from P. Louise. We're gonna go back in with that original brown color that we had, and we're just gonna drag it out along the lash line. us that snatched effect and we're gonna pull it up here and push it really deep into that crease thought this palette was gonna be chalky that I wasn't gonna be a fan of it but honestly I'm honestly 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 loving this and it's much easier to carry around versus and we're just gonna go in with this to blend it just a little bit this would be so much easier for me to take somewhere versus some of these bigger palettes. Which I love the bigger palettes, don't get me wrong, because it's easy to move around with different colors that you want, but it's not easy to move around when you're traveling. Because look at that instantly, it makes my lashes look fuller just by doing that. What's the weather been like where you guys are? Right now it is very windy and that's the one part I hate about Vegas this time of year is the wind so now again with that fluffy brush we're just gonna just blend it all together so it looks seamless of course using a spoolie go in and clean up my lashes so now going in with let's see what I have left from that brown color so you don't want anything too dark because I'm gonna test this out with a wear test at work today. And I do want, I do want a little bit of just 
fun shimmer. Not really shimmer, but just a define. Going with this color, this color here. Wish you guys could see my cat right now. He is, he's lying on his back. And he is just lying there like, oh, this is the life. And there wasn't a whole lot of fallout either on this palette, which I'm, again, extremely impressed. There's just a little bit. All right, the big reveal now. Now obviously I'm gonna take a nice big fluffy brush because I don't want these harsh lines. And we'll always clean up too with foundation. Yeah, I just don't want the harsh, harsh lines. That is looking really good. What do you guys think? Get my janky lighting going on here. So now we are gonna try the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. So I'm only gonna prime the right side of my face just because I wanna see how the primer works with the foundation and if the primer is necessary from e.l.f. Like does it work really well together with the foundation, etc., etc. Have you guys tried this primer? I'm honestly loving it. Why has nobody talked about this primer? It actually just feels like skincare. You know what one thing I want in 2024 is? Oh, like a snatched jawline. That would be awesome. So I got the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is in the shade light beige, which that's really a brown color. I don't know, it's a little weird. So of course, couldn't test out any of my colors because, well, you can't exactly do that in Target. <laughs> and what's insane and what I noticed lately is that Target has everything locked up now to include the, like, just sunscreen and lotion and shampoo. It was probably the strangest, the strangest trip I've ever done to Target. Ooh. So this is a nice big doe foot applicator. So it looks like a lot comes off. So I don't wanna do too terribly much. Let's just test that out and see how that goes. I'm using the Luxie 250 large eye blending brush to kind of diffuse and move the product around. See if it covers my under eye circles where I've not gotten a good night's sleep since 1987. All right, so already I can see so many patches coming through with this. With that, and that's the primer side. So here we're gonna go in with the non-primer side. Ooh, girlfriend, you done messed up. Now without the primer side, this seems to really move the product around a little bit easier. And I always like to conceal right around here. Just cause my nose tends to get a little, a little red. Carve out the brows a little bit here. Yeah, the product moves a lot better without the primer really well. Holy Moses. Now, I don't know if you can see or not, but it's like separating already and getting patchy on my skin with the side with the primer. The side without the primer, however, looking flawless. So I bought three different foundations because uh, again, I wasn't sure what color I would be. This one is Fair 120N. I wanna at least keep the packaging in case I have to return it, which sucks, which I probably won't. Honestly, because they're just gonna destroy it anyways. I don't know. It's it's a lose-lose sometimes with makeup. All right, so this is the fair. I'm going to try to put it on my wrist to see first if this will even pan out well. And I'm just gonna use that same brush. I think that's too, I don't know why I was bending my wrist like that. Like, ugh, can't even see it. I don't know. I think that's 
to light. 125C with cool peach undertones. This is the Camo CC Cream with SPF in it, which is a necessarily must thing you must have. Doesn't matter if it is cloudy, doesn't matter if it's raining, those sun rays will come right through. All right, let's put it on the wrist and see. It's a little bit, but a lot comes out, so I don't know. Why, do, why am I the way that I am? I'm gonna try, I think the 125 is a better, yeah, I think we're gonna do this. This is the 125C Fair. Just using a flat foundation brush just to move product around. It's so hard to move it on the side that has the primer. All right, one pump on each side just to see how far I can get with one pump. Get it into that hairline, even though I'm about to go shampoo my hair in a second. That one pump has literally covered the entire part of my face. Okay, I'm gonna go get a beauty blender, wet it and see if that helps, cause yeah, this, this ain't panning out. All right, I got a wet beauty sponge to help diffuse some of this. Yeah, the side without the primer, I'm liking a little bit more. There are some areas where it's just like, it's just not sitting correctly for my liking. I'm for sure gonna set this under eye real quick. Nugget, God bless America. So I've got the HD powder, blurs, fine lines, and pores. Ooh, a lot comes out. I'm just gonna set that under eye. Ooh. <laughs> so now I got the highlighter and contour in Fair and Champagne. They did not have a liquid blush that would look good in my skin tone. It's got this little applicator. Like this side is already separated. Yikes. So I saw this thing on TikTok where you're like, Go like this and it's supposed to make you snatched more. Going back in with that same concealer brush, we'll just... Ooh, no, that was not good. Ooh, we'll use a beauty blender. Let's just kind of blend that out. Actually, I'm gonna try the P. Louise brush. So that didn't really seem to do much, it just seemed to blend it off. Like I don't even feel like I have any of it on. This is the P. Louise that I'm using, F42. I think it's like rubbing all my foundation off, honestly. Ugh, it's literally what it's doing. And I just have this ugly shadow now here. Well, that's trash, ugh. Yeah, this side with the primer is just, ugh. It's just settling and it is gross the way it's settling into everything. Not a fan. Yeah, not, not a fan. We are going to go in with the e.l.f. powder blush palette. Can you guys see what I'm seeing? Ugh, this is frustrating. I'm gonna go in with my tried and true. This is the Moda Mata fluffy brush. We're gonna go in with, ew, it's sparkly. They do not want you to open this stupid package. Now I'm really pissed off because 
I hate blushes with shimmer in them. They just remind me of 1990. I'm gonna go in with more of this peachy, this, where did it go? This shade here. It's like not even showing up to the party on that side with the primer. On the side without the primer, it seems to be here. Here for the party. Go to lighten up my face some, cause oh lord. And the way it's sitting on my face on this side, ugh. Ugh, y'all. I can't even right now. Yeah, this side here. Just lighten up my face a little bit. Look, look what it's doing to my chin. And my nose and everything, ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. No. I'm gonna go with a little bit of highlighter from Too Faced. Although I don't know what we're highlighting at this point, just highlighting my ugly makeup. <laughs> I digress. I'm gonna go in real quick with the Wander Beauty, the Mile High Club for my bottom lash line. I did get the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine Setting Spray. It smells nice. I'll dry it off. And I did get a lip gloss from them. Their selection, their selection was atrocious. So, ugh, I think it might be too pink. Oh, and they didn't have lip liners. With the way my foundation looks on this one side, with it being so cakey, I feel like, you know, when they put makeup on a dead person and how they just have like a lot of makeup and then they put lipstick on them that you would never see them wearing in real life. Yeah. That's what's happening right now. I'm not a fan. I am a fan of this eye look though, but trying to show you guys how, as you can see my little. <laughs> this is the side with the primer. And this is the side without it. The side without it actually looks really nice, really, actually looks really good. Let's see if you guys can see. This is the primer side. This is the non-primer side. Ew, look at that. Ugh, ugh. Look how pretty the eye look looks. <laughs> the eye look looks. This lipstick's gotta go. Mm -mm. That's a no for me, dog. Ugh. It like freaking stains your lips. Ugh. So I'm stuck with it all day at work. This is in the color Power Mauve. There is nothing powerful about this. And that's not mauve, that's like a berry. <sighs> I'm gonna go get ready for the day, get ready for work, and <sighs> see how, see what I think about after my shower. All right, so we are about an hour and a half, two hours into this wear test. This is the side with the primer. This is the side without. You can see it's starting to separate really bad and you can actually see the lines of where I put the concealer. Yeah, it is not wearing very nicely at all. Yeah, this looks like hella crappy. Not a huge fan, I'm a fan of the uh, the eye makeup, sort of. It's like all starting to blend together. Like it's melting into each other. I don't know if you can tell or not that it's just, you can't see where the light area was anymore. It's just all dark. Like it's hardly, like it's just all creasing and stuff and it's just, I don't know, not a fan, mm-mm. All right, so here we are, end of the day of my work day. It is currently 7.13 Pacific Standard Time. I started this makeup look at like 10 o'clock, 
10 o'clock ish or so. This is the primer side. This is the no primer side. So there we go. My chin, you can see some spots where it's coming through. It's settled into my fine lines. Over here on this side with the primer, it definitely did nothing for me. Yeah, that just primer, no primer. It's just a hot mess. Can't even tell that I even had bronzer on today. This lip color, I did not like. The eye look, ugh, like it just melted into one big poop color on my eye. So this is a complete no for me. I am not a fan and I'm trying to make sure that you guys are getting the best light in here because it's the best light that I can see. But as you can see, it's just, it's not a good look. So overall, it might be inexpensive. I'm just not a fan personally of the way it's settled onto my skin. Hey, if you like it and it works for you, that's awesome. Maybe you can give me some tips and tricks, whatever it is down in the comments below before I completely throw all of this makeup out of here. So that's it. That is my wear test. I appreciate you guys popping in and, and just, hanging out with me today for today's video so leave a comment below subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon we'll see you next time guys hey guys what's up it's bex and i'm back with it oh shit i forgot to do that oh, adios mio all right <gasps> brushes why am I such an idiot and I like forget everything oh my goodness gracious just everything is falling apart in my life today no 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 dude you're not getting up here you're too big and fat you're like 30 pounds my dude oh my goodness